Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're interested in coming to Norwich in East Anglia in England, I'm going to be doing a series of videos, walking videos, uh, in different areas of Norwich uh, to show you what this wonderful city is all about. And the first one I'm going to be doing is Riverside from uh, the Complete Anglia, which is the, the, the pub behind me, um, just across from the railway station. And um, we're going to go around. Uh, the river and then in the future I'll be doing some other ones. Uh, without further ado on this beautiful lovely sunny November morning uh, let's get started. River sidewalk. It's a lovely sunny day in November today. It's not quite warm. Uh, this is the River Wenson and the River Wenson is tidal so it does go up and down and we did actually have a, a seal, a sea lion that was uh, swimming up and down here in the summertime. I haven't seen it since. Uh, but so it's a really pleasant place to walk. Um, the river goes all the way around Norwich and today we're going to walk around um, to a certain point and future videos will be in Tombland the marketplace, uh, Ketz Hill, and one or two other places uh, that I, I think will, you'll find very interesting. Norwich actually was in the middle uh, medieval times the second largest city in England and uh, it basically grew up with a lot of textile industry uh, and over the centuries basically has, has escaped the Industrial Revolution and that makes Norwich a, a very attractive uh, city to live in, basically. Uh, so yes, it's a really lovely walk here today as we walk along the river. Many uh, pleasure boats come up and down here and many people enjoy the river for canoeing, uh, paddle boarding. Um, pub and paddle is a very popular one <laughs> where you can hire um, little canoes and you can stop at a pub because uh, there's several on the river and that's a really pleasant thing to do on a summer's day or even just like today this is November the 5th and it's a beautiful day today we're walking towards Paul's Ferry which I'll tell you more about in a moment it has a university called the University of East Anglia and it also has the largest and the best outdoor market which we will be visiting on another video. So this building here is part of Paul's Ferry. Uh, Paul's Ferry was a ferry that took things and people across the river. One of the features of Norfolk buildings and the way they dress the outside of the buildings and it's with flint. Flint really hard and natural material um, obviously used in prehistoric times to make uh, knives and spearheads so here we are this isn't the best example but it's dressed and this is at Paul's Ferry which says Paul's Ferry is named after John Paul Ferryman built in the reign of Elizabeth I originally named Sandlings Ferry after the first ferryman Sandling the Watergate is medieval the ferry house is 16th century with Georgian additions and the buildings to the south is of later date now converted into a dwelling house. The completion of the buildings are the property of the Dean of the Chapter of the Cathedral who restored them in 1947 helped by Miss Camilla Doyle also from the money raised by the Norwich Girls Guides. How about that? Good on you Girl Guides that you actually saved the money got the money raised um, to restore this beautiful building. This used to be a water channel which went all the way up here to take the stone that came from northern France to build the cathedral. So this was a channel built by the Normans and here the water is actually quite high today. It's a lovely setting though. And this is uh, currently uh, uh, Girl Guides 
accommodation and there's a house here. There was a pub here at one point and this area then was frequented by many, many drunk people and uh, this was a rather troublesome area uh, back in the 18th century. Here you can see a little bit better the cathedral peeking through. But it's such a pleasant walk to have. It doesn't take long to get anywhere in Norwich. And it's good exercise as well. Lord Nelson went to this school, this very school, and nothing's really changed in this view for many centuries. All right, this is the red line, up, and this is Bishop's Bridge. It's one of the oldest bridges in the UK, as it spans the Winston. It's rather, rather lovely, isn't it? There's some history also to this bridge where there was the Ketz Rebellion, which I'll be doing a separate video on. It was a rebellion against landowners and uh, a lot of bloodshed, basically. And here we are, we've got the, the plaque. Bishop's Bridge, 1340 it says. The only surviving medieval bridge in Norwich. Robert Kett and the Earl of Warwick's troops fought a battle on the approach to the bridge in 1549. And uh, sadly to say for Mr. Kett, uh, it didn't end well. <laughs> One of the nicest things about Norwich is there's so many green spaces uh, along by the river and just outside of the city. Uh, we have a place called Mousehold Heath which is, it's like the countryside, it's up the hill, there's woodland and you can just get lost and there's even a good pitch and putt there and it just um, makes it so easy to escape the city but it's it's a nice city it's not an industrial city um, but there's just so many great places where you can uh, get away into nature and this is one of them this particular walk is uh, really lovely really nice so this is Cal Tower uh, brick faced uh, it was much taller than this but in the Ketz Rebellion which I said I will do another video on uh, it, the top was taken off and this as it goes around around the corner of the the, the, um, the river goes around the corner it was a place where the monks actually uh, charged people uh, for going further upstream and then later on it was a garrison and a, a prison so we can have a look inside Built in 1398. A long time ago. Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, yeah, quite a unique building, and you can see inside a little bit. I um, mean, there were floor, uh, obviously floors in. You can see the pockets where the timbers used to go, and uh, a defence. Um, holes where they could shoot out and defend this corner of the city by the river. Isn't that? One of the things in England, if you're not in England, this time of the year is one of the best times. The colour, and if you get a good day like this, we had rain for the last two days but we have a day like this where it's sunny it's bright i mean just look at the colors check it out it's so so beautiful absolutely beautiful it's really good to get out and uh, enjoy enjoy the country well the countryside within the city you know it's uh, just a beautiful day to go out walking or if you're in a wheelchair a ride for those of you who are new to Norwich, um, let me tell you, it's in East Anglia, it's in Norfolk, and 
it is probably one and a half hours by train journey from London in the south and 45 minutes to Cambridge uh, more to the west and uh, it's a very pleasant place people come here from London move out of London more recently um, because it's a quieter place and it's a really 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 good city now I will be doing a series of videos of Norwich as I said and uh, a friend of mine has a really interesting blog on YouTube it's called Lost Norwich and John explores the things that used to be here many different things um, and really interesting his research is brilliant he makes it interesting so if you want to know more about Norwich from the past the things that have, have gone from the streets uh, then check out Lost Norwich on YouTube I'll put a link down below anyway until the next time um, I bid you farewell and uh, I'll be doing uh, another video very very shortly in the sunshine